when I reached out to her, this was on text and I said, hey, like, you know, I would really love to hear your story on a panel. We would like to have some people with some time, you know, um, can you can you help me? Can you help the, the residential clients? And she actually replied and said, I wouldn't be a good candidate. I'm actually going to pick, I'm on my way to pick up right now. So, um, of course, my heart sank at that moment because I'm like, okay, did she already relapse? Is she going to relapse? It, you know, what's going on here? So um, I hopped on the phone and I spoke to her and she actually didn't relapse yet. So I felt like in a way it was a divine intervention that I happened to contact her at that very moment before she was going to pick up. And she was just telling me, you know, life is really hard right now. I have all of this time, but I'm struggling with my depression. I have... I feel very socially awkward. Um, I'm having a very hard time with everything being shut down and with COVID and isolating and everything like that. So it, it just feels like the next best solution is to just get loaded and forget about it. So I chatted with her on the phone for a little bit, told her a little bit of my story, my own experience. Um, my first year of sobriety was rough to say the least after six months, you know? Um, so I just kind of helped her normalize that and, and, and whatnot, and um, just invited her to be part of alumni again. And I've been reaching out to her regularly since just to make sure she's okay. And sometimes we need a little bit of support at the end. So the cool thing was at the end of the conversation, I was like, hey, are you still planning on picking up? Or like, where are we at with this? And she was like, I'm not gonna pick up tonight. And I was like, oh, thank God. So please, if you do feel like picking up, just give me a call. Will you promise me that? And she said, I promise I'll do that, Jax. So, so that's my story. That's it. Thank you.